How's it going, everyone? And welcome! Finally, you guys have no idea how long I've waited. I've waited to play this. Danganronpa V3. Killing Harmony. Yes, I know technically the next Danganronpa game to play would be Ultra Despair Girls, but as I said at the end of Danganronpa 2, I don't have it. And I decided, well, let's just jump into this. Apparently it's not even considered canon to the Hope Speak arc, and um, I'm kind of curious because a lot of there's a lot of divisive opinions about this game. Uh, many people consider it to be a really good game, and other people, uh, many other people consider it to be a horrible game. Well, not horrible, but still controversial in the slightest. <laughs> and uh, I'm curious. I'm curious about this, but before anything, let's start and press any button, because it's what tell it's telling us to do. So we have load game, new game, and quit. Obvious choices are obvious, but before that, yeah, it's all recording properly, fantastic, that's what we want. And uh, yeah, um, I'm excited, I'm excited because um, I literally finished um, Danganronpa 2 like a couple days ago, I gave myself a day of... Um, of boss break of stuff. I had to edit a class trial 3 from Danganronpa 2. It's not yet rendered, but it's going to be soon. Uh, I'm just here to record the first episode of V3 in advance. This is not going to be uploaded until like the likes of December or something, so that's ridiculous. I'm recording with like three months of preparation. Anyways, new game, load game, and quit. Let's start a new game. I'm really excited. I've wanted to play this game since May. I have this game since May. 2nd of May. It's ridiculous. Anyways, let's go. Today, by the way, if you want to know why I said since May, today is, um, if I'm not mistaken, today is the 8th of September. 8th of September. 8th of September. So. Yeah, it's been a while. Also, I'm kind of curious. Is is my mouse showing up? Is is my mouse showing up? Um, uh, guess not. But I can fix that really quickly, honestly. Yeah, it's not showing up. That's good. So let's go. If you load save data from the demo version, you will unlock a special reward. Load demo save data. Ooh, I don't have the demo save data, but I'll try it. Well, yeah, demo d version save data was not loaded. Damn it! I should have played the demo first. But anyways, it's not. Ugh. You guys can tell me in the comments, well, way later on, what I missed. And let's start. Please select which voice language uh, English. This is weird. This contest hasn't been unlocked. It's li what the hell? This menu is weird. Team Danganronpa. Play the story from the beginning, which we will do! Alright, logic difficulty, we always do both mean, logic and action. So, this is going to this is going to be my own one true blind playthrough of any Danganronpa game. Well, excluding Ultra Despair Girls, which will come later. But uh, even in Danganronpa 1, I knew of a few things, like... Who survived, I knew... I knew some things in Danganronpa 1. Danganronpa 2, I knew the entire game, almost. But this one, this, I don't know anything. I don't know any character, I don't know what happens in any chapter, I don't even know who the f uh, how the story will progress after the end of Danganronpa 2, but apparently, as I said, this is non-canon to the Hope Speak arc. It's a big mess. Let, let's just start. Oh, but before we do that, I need my clock. There we go. Let's start. I don't even know who the protag- oh? Uh? This is the beginning of Danganronpa 1! Danganronpa 1... 2, Ultra Despair Girls, and 3! All stuff that I've seen, except for Ultra Despair Girls, kind of. Ah, uh, yes. Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. Ugh, I just got over that. Ultra Despair Girls. And three. 
I got number three was really good. I don't care what anyone says, honestly. Story. Story is not over. This story is not over. Oh. A new killing game will begin again. Oh, I thought we were over that shit. But apparently not. Team Danganronpa. I'm curious because this game... <laughs> this game has mixed reviews from fans. Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Let's do this. I'm really curious. Nothing. No light. No sound. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who I am? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. What, is this... Is this a philosophical beginning or something? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Take, to take hold of my existence. Huh? This is me. Hello? No way, are you the protag? My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Okay. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. I guess so, huh? I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Oh my god, you are. Kaede Akam... <laughs> Ultimate Revival. Kaede, what? Akamatsu. Oh god, that's a weird name. Kaede. I like that name. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. <laughs> Prologue level 1. Oh, Alright, the level system is back. Rise of the Ultimates. I can definitely say this game looks way darker than all of the other ones, even Danganronpa 1. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Huh? Oh, wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. It's gonna be hard to make a protag, a protag voice that isn't my normal voice. Tell that to Phoenix Wright, Makoto Nayagi, and Hajime Hinata. I looked around. A classroom? Ah, isn't this like we, like always? Isn't this what, how it always starts? Come on. We, we're used to it by now. Yeah, this is a classroom, classroom alright. But I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Questions every Danganronpa protagonist asks themselves. Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Oh, poor Kaede. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. This through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't. What? <coughs> what the hell is happening? I don't get this. Suddenly, the locker next to mine started sh uh, swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. Okay. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... Nightmare, nightmare in the locker. Is that the new what? He screamed at it as if he'd just seen a monster. Fell on his butt and scooted back. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? I'm gonna give. I think I'm gonna give this guy my normal voice since he's the first boy we meet. Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me. Um. Kidnapped. Wait. Where am I? 
What are you gonna do to me? Hey. Hey, hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? What's your name? Uh, I'm Shuichi Sayara. Yeah. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Shuichi. Shut, Shut up! You're not the only one who's confused right now! Huh? Uh, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. That's right. I was kidnapped too! What? I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. Okay. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. And then I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? Uh, it seems like it. Jeez. Oh, why me? My family's not rich and I'm no one special, I'm just a normal high school girl. Kind of like any any other protagonist, right? <laughs> There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. Ooh boy. This is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um wonder why. Where the hell are we? Hey there! I'm sure you're confused right now, thinking, you're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Use the left analog stick to control the radical on the screen. When you have a target in your sights, press the A button to investigate it. We already know this. The R stick controls your, the right analog stick controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the RB button to sm Okay, that's new. The RB button to smack objects around. I don't know what that is. Right back? Who knows, you might find something amazing. You can always press the ELB button to return objects to their original position, so relax. Okay. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for your understanding. Press the Y button, a mysterious power a mysterious investigative investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. Yeah, most of it is known to us. But if you forget anything, you can press the I don't know what that is, to review the controls. It's probably the square button or the start button. Investigate this place place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know? This is all new! Interesting, uh... Okay, so this is... Oh, monocoins. Oh, interesting. <laughs> this is a... this is a crafty power. Give me the monocoins. The most important thing ever. We woke up inside of these lockers. But why were we in, lo in these lockers in the first place? All right, let's talk to Shuichi, I guess. Um. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Uh. Something bad. What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? Oh, huh, okay. What? Wow, okay. This is all crazy. The outside of the window is covered in greenery and barbed wire? Why are the school's window why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Oh, this is crazy, I love it. So far I'm loving the aesthetic of V3. It's it's fresh, you know? See the monitor. Is this a monitor? Nothing's being displayed right now. Seriously though, what is it? It really seems out of place here. Uh, this voice is gonna be the voice I most I most do. Uh, we gotta get used to that. Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Kidnapped me. I didn't understand it's this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... Hell yeah! Found you! What... is this? What? Yeah. A, a monster? <laughs> what the fuck is this? 
What? This is bad. We need to get out of here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What am I looking at? Okay, over here. Uh, new classmates. Gotta run, I guess. Okay, where are we going? I really like the aesthetic, it really changes a lot, I guess. Um, where am I supposed to go? I guess here. Or, I guess not. Don't go that way! Over him! Over here! Huh? Before. I was just trying to move the camera. Where are we? Oh, geez. Oh, what are those things? Good question. Where the hell are we? Oh, is it chasing me? Uh, I don't like this. The gym. Are we really going to the gymnasium again? As we frantically moved, uh, dove toward the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh, more people have arrived. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Oh, God, not again. Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! Hmm, I identify some of these voices as people I've heard before, like... I'm pretty sure I heard, I heard for you Hiko's voice actor, and this one was Ibuki's. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Wait! I shouted at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us. All high schoolers. Yeah. What do you think? Again. That meant? Sixteen high schoolers? Again with the gymnasium. Why? All oh, right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Amani. I give you my name. It's Rantaro Amani. Amani. I'm sorry, but let's leave it. Let's leave it at that for now. What? Huh? Um, okay. You know. Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. Uh, I think this is all of us. This was what I think it is anyway. Do you know what's happening? What? This is what you think it is. Hey! Hey, you some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out! It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie! Okay, quiet everyone! Shimmy down! Shimmy down! Hmm. No, no, no! It's, it's Simmer down. What? what? Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Huh? <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us! What? Damn it, there are more monsters. We're surrounded. What's ah. These aren't monsters, they're ex exisals or something. I don't know what's happening. And that's that. They're highly mobile, bipedal weapons platform. Weapons? Hell yeah. Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? Ah. Huh? Wait a minute! It wouldn't be any fun picking on plain good for nothing commoners. You're right. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come. Oh, not a good imagery to start this off with, I guess. Wait. At least. Oh God. Not like toothpaste. How gory. Ugh, I just imagined that I can't handle gore. Well. What is happening? Then what if if. Start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese. 
Holy shit. What the hell is happening? We can't kill them with the exosols. According to the schedule, the exosols aren't supposed to show up till later. What are you saying? But we're in the exosols right now. Ah. Oh, so we are. <laughs> you fucking retard. We're not supposed to be in the exosols for our first appearance. I told you we should have written the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Wait, don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So. Okay, ready. What is happening? I don't get it. Huh? Monotaro? Oh. Monotaro? What? Monodam? And Monokid. Huh? Hold on, I need to catch something that fell first. Um, can someone care to explain why did Monokuma, you know, have the time to have kids? Huh? Hey. See? We're out of the exiles. Now we're not scary anymore, right? 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 This desperation is strangely terrifying. You punk asses better brace yourselves! And he's just outright terrifying. That's right. I'm a messenger from hell from the depths of hell here to drag you down to hell. Hey. No, no, Monica, you're saying hell too much. It's running the hellish impact. Hey. Eh? What's hellish mean? What? Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Hey. Moving stuffed animals. Yeah. On top of that, it seems that like they're calling themselves the Monocups. Moving stuffed animals? Monocups? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourselves the Monocups? Do you talk? So. Oh, don't bother asking Monodam. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Monodam? Okay then. Monodam, you won't even open your heart to me? Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous th theatrics? Shut up! Yeah, shut up, you! All of you are reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. I agree. What? Well, shouldn't you be like panicking? <laughs> Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Wait a minute. You think they haven't been given their first memory yet? Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Hey guys, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then. Hey, hey who the hell are you, punks? Huh? What do you mean? What? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? No. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Me, me either. I, I don't have anything like that. I am so confused. <laughs> this is way different than any beginning I've seen of Danganronpa. Okay. Yeah, same here. Told you so. I knew it. They haven't got their first memory yet. Hey. Monophony, weren't you in charge of that? He is all that remains of a once powerful Are you, did you fall? Did you fall asleep? She's sleeping? Did she seem really tired to you guys? Stupid. She's obviously faking it. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. <gasps> if you say so. Um. Anyway, if you guys really are the Mono Cubs, then don't worry about us. The real issues, the real issues, is you, you the bastards. Well, issues, putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. Use all forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Huh? huh? Forgotten? Ooh, okay. So this... This is interesting. So we start off not knowing everyone's ultimate talent. 
That's something new, all right. Normally, everyone knows their talent except for one. In Danganronpa 1, it was Kyoko, and in Danganronpa 2, it was Hajime. But now nobody knows. Huh. What a plot twist. See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've lost all your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Okay. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? Are you awake, awake already? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. I do like the soundtrack so far, though. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys can look all cutie, cute, and spiffy. Okay. Excuse. <laughs> what? 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 Really? So this is a reaction voice. The next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah, get ready! Once the seal is broken, you will be in the domain of the killing game! Killing game? Now then, after the flashback line helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time! Nani? <laughs> I'm so confused! I, I'm so, so confused! I think you guys have no idea how confused I am. Well, I saved. How many slots do I have? 30, just like any other game. This is so weird! Oh, let's go. Ultimate Revival. Again. What is happening? Huh? Huh? Wait, wait, huh? What? Huh? 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 Oh, haven't, haven't we been through this before? I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Again? Couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Deja vu, I've just been to this place before. Huh? Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is going definitely going to leave a lump. A bump. I looked around. A classroom? Yeah, this is a classroom, alright, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Again. It's so strange, I feel like I've seen this before. <gasps> oh, is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that but all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Let's just calm down, stay calm, and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But, but no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Oh god. Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, and the locker door slowly opened, and... Chuishi came out, yep. A 
A boy came stumbling out. An old boy dressed in the school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, but when and when he slowly lift, lifted his head. Uh, uh. How rude! Don't freak me out! Don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Uh, sorry. Well, the dialogue's a bit different. I'm sorry too. Okay, I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But all the more reason to stay calm. Oh, Jinopedi Number One by Eric Satie. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Huh? Huh? What the shit is this? Teddy bear? No, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although, if we were if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I agree, I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. Huh? What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not, we're not mono cubs, we're the stuffed animals. Hey. It's mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. Hey. No stuffed animals, us, the mono cubs, them. Oh, man. oh geez, it's even worse now. Oh. Right now. Um, mono, mono cubs? Oh, oh you've heard of us? No, of course not! I've never seen walking, talking stuffed animals! As soon as I said that, these monocook things started looking at each other and... Yay! Yay, it worked! Oh. They cleared their memories, didn't they? Ew, had me worried there for a second! Hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Alright, now let's tackle each issue one at a, one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotaro! He's like a 6th grader helping out a 5th grader. Which means we should keep our explanations reasonable. Expectations reasonable. Well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters... Where are we? This looks like a school. Oh, uh, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Beep. 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 My bullshit detectors are going off the charts. Haven't we heard of a place like that before? A little somewhere called Hope Speak Academy. It's almost the same thing, right? Right? Um. Or maybe X-Men? <laughs> I don't know. Ultimate Acad Academy for Gifted Juveniles? Three. Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. Of course you haven't! This school was made for you 16 Cretans! Huh? 16? That's right! Yeah, there are 16 ultimates at this school! Huh? Huh? Ultimates? Well... You know what ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this progr pr program called the Ultimate Initiative! Actually... Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodigious in a particular talent! <gasps> basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country! Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get more grant they even get grant money too, right? That's right. Students, students chosen by the ultimate initiative are also known as ultimates. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Students would do anything for the honor of being chosen a chosen ultimate. Um, I don't need the explanation, I already know because I'm an ultimate too. That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? huh? What do you mean forgetting? Shut up! Shut up, quit your happen and get started already. Get started with what? Why, exploring this academy, of course. Also, you should introduce yourself to the other ultimates. Because you guys are all gonna do an activity together later. Awesome! I've got a rager right now! Well then! So long, farewell! Farewell? These guys are worse than Monokuma in Danganronpa 2. Ah, uh, they left! But I have so many questions. Hey! This isn't a dream, right? Uh, no, but I wish it was. Alright. 
Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Ooh boy, um... Alright, let's talk. Beautiful Lie! I've heard of this song, but I've never heard it. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Uh, okay. Yeah, well then. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... What? How dare you stu- huh? How dare you steal that title? How dare you? How dare you? There's only one ultimate detective in where I live. Anyways, <clears throat> what? You're a detective? That's amazing! No. Uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, you're the ultimate pianist. That explains the musical notes. That's cool. Mm. Ultimate pianist. Yeah. Well, no one calls me the ultimate pianist. <laughs> usually, usually just piano freak. For freak. Oh. Ever since I Wait, was what? Five, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. That face is kind of creepy. Where's your nose, Kaide? There were even times I played the ah. piano so much that I would forget to eat. And sleep. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title? And that's way more impressive than me. Well, Shuichi, at least you didn't receive the title of ultimate detective through Bloodline. I'm sorry, Kyoko, but that's a lame way to receive the title. This music is really good! This is my first time meeting another Ultimate student. Well, well Ultimates are scattered all over the country, but they're difficult to find. Um, Even so, there are 16 Ultimate students gathered here now. So, counting the 16 in each game, 16 times 3, that would give a total of 48 students, right? Yeah, 48 Ultimate students from all three games. You know, that's a lot of Ultimate students! But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? If so, then is some organization out there is trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Hey! Uh, about that, I don't remember. Huh? Huh? You don't remember? Uh, okay. I've been trying to remember it, but I can't no matter how hard I tried. But they remembered before, someone fucked up badly. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Same here! I can't remember anything, even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Huh? What was that image? What happened? Uh, are you okay? What's wrong? No. Oh, I'm fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But... It can't be coincidence that we both don't remember. What happened to us? Um... I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. We're confused. We just need to relax, is all. Oh, let's imagine Ma Maurice Ravel's Ravel's sonatine. I don't know how to say that. It's probably French. That's is that music? I don't really know much about music. I see. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. You're right. Yeah, good idea. Obtain friendship fragment. Oh, nice. You can leave a room by pressing the B button or interacting with the door. All right, let's use our powers of pushing. Yay! This power is so ridiculous. Kaida just has the force, and you can't convince me otherwise. A blackboard, but that's not a blackboard. 
That's a blackboard, right? Every, every classroom has one, but this blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something we don't see every day. Touch the barbed wire. <laughs> I gotta love that Kaida has literally the force. Would you like to leave? Finally, a normal leaving message instead of leave here. Anyways, hallway to 2F. Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants growing around here. Hold on, what? Weren't we in hallway 1F last time? Did we get transferred to another classroom? And the hair and the air here is heavy. Impressively heavy, as if forcing you to recall your fears, so smothering you in anxiety. Also, can I just say, in Hope's Peak Academy in the Nine Robo One, there wasn't a single speck of, of sunlight, because all the doors were barred with iron, well, plates. This atmosphere doesn't feel as oppressive as, uh, as Hope's Peak Academy in the first game, just saying. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? L literally every school. Huh? I just felt something in my pocket, in the pocket of my uniform, when I looked. Remember, I found this inside. Is it some kind of mini tower computer? Uh, oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. The word monopad is written on it. Wait, did you dress like this before you were kidnapped, Kaide? And Shuichi? And literally everyone else? Why aren't you questioning what you're having? Well, technically... Your memories were purged, so... Again. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when I put it up, like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah, yeah I agree. Congratulations, you can now use the monopad. It's literally the handbook. Use the... press the square button to open the monopad. Yeah, I know, I, I know it says X, but it's square. It's got tons of game information in it. Stuff like the report card and map, be sure to check it out. And if you've got a sharp eye, you may have already noticed, by getting closer to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with content. Since you are now acquaintances with Mr. Sayara, his info has already been added. And I bet you've already noticed you can level up by performing certain actions, yep. When you level up, your skill slots increase, so you can equip different, even more skills. There are a lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds. Be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Finally! Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Wow, we even have a mini-map. Can I just say, this game, this game sure looks pretty. Compared to, compared to Danganronpa 1 and 2. This game is really pretty. And I'm not even playing at full resolution because the borderless is way easier to record. Wow. They went all out with this, didn't they? Gotta appreciate the... Gotta appreciate the... The effort put into this game, it's really pretty. And my computer, well... Of course, my computer isn't too shabby, so it can run this at 60 frames, but I'm pretty sure not, 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 not any computer can run this game like I am running right now. With very high definitions and borderless, borderless... I'm not bragging, I'm, ju I'm just saying. Anyways. Present report card, alright. Wow, the report card looks awesome! That's really cool! Likes piano keys, dislikes bicycles. Oh, Kaede. Likes novels and dislikes gossip. Now, this guy is probably me in real life, but I'm not a detective, so... I guess. But this game sure looks pretty. I gotta, I gotta hand it to them. Huh? I didn't even... Wait a minute, is this the music room? Huh? Oh, I won't open. But this room does look like it was made for me. Poor Kaede. Oh, not again. What are, all, what are you all doing here? Ah, uh, they're here again. Why do you think this place is? Check out all this fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Eh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? Stupid. Why the hell? Why did? What would you tell them? We were trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? What's an ultimate research lab? Yay! We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talents, so we set up these rooms for you. 
This is the ultimate pianist's lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Well, actually... Most of them are still hidden, though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Is... Because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we'll hustle to get it all already. Wipe your asses and wait. Wow. The hell you saying? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? <laughs> Monocat is such a dummy. Hey. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bullied Monodam. Poor Monodam. So long, farewell. I'm liking the Monocat so far. It seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey. Do you think there are rooms, other rooms like this for everyone? Also, what is this? Yeah, that's right. What is the reaction voice for? Mm. Oh, you can you can listen to the reaction voices. I get it. That's cool. I don't know if that's the only purpose it serves, but if it is, it's pretty damn useless, honestly. It's, despite the fact that you can listen to, you know. Voice audio, which is always a win in my book. I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was a music room. Oh, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Something tells me that this game is not gonna have twists like the others. So we have presents as well. How many? We have a total of 143 presents. I think Naganropa 2 had more, but hey. Oh! Hello! Um. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Huh? Did she not hear me? Okay then. Hey! Hello! She's locked in she's lost in trends. No response, Jim. She's dead. She still can hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. No, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. You already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek and felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Are you alive? Huh? Poking her doesn't work either? Then maybe she is just a doll. But she looks surreal. Try it, Chuichi. Poke, poke. Huh? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> just do it, it's so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. I see. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. Wait. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Huh? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, Kaida, you, you're a prankster, aren't you? No. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. You were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? But um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. All right. Now, let's talk! What do you want to start with? Right, right. My favorite Doraemon episode is number 53, the one with security cameras and target practice. She watches Doraemon? I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sorry, but I'm sold. I cannot compete with that. Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Huh. My name is Tomoki Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. Well, I know of a person who would like to meet you. The ultimate cosplayer, huh? Tsumugi Shiro... So you're a cosplayer. I guess. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so fine. No. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I bet it's because you've got people huggling all of your curves on a daily basis, bro, huh? Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. <laughs> Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually, I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. Yeah, I definitely know someone who would like to meet you. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right! I'd rather wear my outfits myself, with love, than give them to people like that. Wow, you're pretty intense. It makes me happy when I get to show the people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Oh, oh. Well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at, a zoo, at the zoo. You're, that's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know. 
Uh, is it alright if I ask you something too? Earlier, you looked at us as if you were thinking about hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, we needed to ask her that. Nice job, Chuichi. It's from that one thing. Ah, that brown st dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Zumugi, do you just say bling about everything? Oh god. Um, it almost seems like it's flooding, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. This is cool, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Actually. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um... Kaede, what's wrong? Uh -huh. <laughs> that frightened look on her face was, t was sort of sick. Kaede, are, are you hiding something you want to tell us? <laughs> this again? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big, not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Mm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. My my cheeks are hurting because I'm laughing all the time to meet these damn voices. Yeah. Yeah, so let's try it to find a way out. Alright, obtain the friendship fragment. Zumuki's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Alright, we've met Zumuki Shirogane, the ultimate cosplayer. And we have access to two floors, huh? Oh well, no, we started We started here as well, yeah. There's another classroom here. That's classroom C, we came from B, right? Yep. This is so weird! This game is so pretty! I, I just gotta give it to the developers. Spike Chunsoft, and uh... Well, no, no, let's look somewhere else. Okay. So classroom C is locked. Goody. I guess that's... Okay, so L1 lets me run faster as well. But I can no longer walk sideways like I used to do. Alright, let's go to floor 1. Pretty sure most of the ultimates will be in the, in the gym anyways. So, let's see what we have. These stairs are completely out of place, by the way. They remind me a lot of the funhouse from Danganronpa 2, and that's not a happy place to remind myself of. The, the bathroom. Huh? Is this place? So north is there. Level up. I'm just exploring at this point. We can even go down more. Well, let's, let's explore this. Um, let's explore this floor before that. Classroom A. That that one isn't unlocked. Okay. Is someone in here. Oh, two, three people. Well, with Chuichi. Hey, wait for me! Please stop! Please stop! Don't come any closer! Wait, are you? That boy in white is chasing it's chasing that boy that other boy with the funny clothes. What's happening here? No, what's happening here? I forgot I'm Kaide. Damn it! Anyways, who are you? Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little! I've always wanted to be friends with a robot! A robot to you Are are you who I think you are? I've heard about I've heard about you before actually. Huh? What? A robot? What is it? What, are, what is it? Are you another robophob? Yes, no. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for real? So robot? No. Are you one of the monocubs? Do not compare me to those toys! I am not just any old robot! I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiba. Are you... Are you the voice actor of a certain Hope Boy? The prophecy is true. Ultimate robot? That's not fair! You can't be the only one who gets to show off! I'll introduce myself too! 
I'll um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Kokichioma. The, the ultimate supreme leader? What? A robot and supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. By the way, By the way I learned in the hard way that the robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not funny. Why? Of course you didn't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. Don't mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Idabachi, a leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed me in a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. Installing me a strong AI. I'm having I'm having sincere flashbacks to Chihiro Fujisaki. That's why at the time of my creation I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things, until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See? I'm like, I'm just like everyone else. God damn it. Damn reaction voice. I don't know what it's for yet, but I keep touching my right analog stick. Hey! Hey, do robots have... Kokichi? Why? Hey. Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Hey Kokichi, I don't really understand the ultimate supreme talent leader. Supreme leader talent. <laughs> I just butcher that sentence. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say... It's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an, of an evil organ secret organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. What? Huh? Huh? So you were lying just now? It's true! Well, I am the supreme leader of, a, of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Please. So are you lying or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you! Ah, hey. oh, by the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. Right. I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Oh. Hey, everything is set so far as sounded like a lie, so that's gonna be a lie too, right? Oh, Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's far more suspicious. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. I don't like you. You're a bully. Oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I don't have that function. Oh man, you're boring. You know who you, re you, know who you remind me a lot? You remind me of post-chapter <laughs> post 4 Nagito. And that's not a good thing. What a weird boy. He's like a mis mischievous little kid. It's no time to be joking around unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Attain friendship fragment. Kokichi and K1BO's B0's report cards have been updated based on your experience with them. Well, I don't know if I can keep going for much longer, actually. But let's try to meet some other people before we leave. This episode is already long enough as it is, honestly. We get such a large area at the beginning. I did not expect that, honestly. And the music is beautiful as well. Masafumi Takada. Fantastic. Pretty sure that's the name of the guy who made the soundtrack. If I'm wrong, please correct me. So what do we have over here? Oh, there's there's a person here. You're with Rantaro Amami, right? That's what's that was your name? Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys got kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright, that's good. Situation could be better though. Oh. Yeah, totally. 
Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? If you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? You're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone in here is the same. I also like this dialogue style as well. Huh? Huh? Everyone? That's the others too. They, they all said they don't remember. You... You knew what was happening at the beginning, didn't you? Who are you? He probably appears in, other, in another... Canon Danganronpa thing. The only thing I'm thinking of that I haven't touched and he, that he might appear in is Danganronpa Zero, but if he, if that's true, then that would connect to this. I got I, I need to read that light novel. Well, with uni restarting, maybe I'll have some time to do it. Anyways, that's the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. Ah, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. You're scary, Rantaro. It could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. <laughs> in any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? Tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Oh, there we go. I knew we'd have to find someone who didn't remember his own talent. What? You got me. Ew, I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, then I forgot I- but then I forgot I did, right? <laughs> that would be stupid. You know more than you're letting on! No, you haven't told me anything yet. My name is Rantaro Amato. I can't remember my old talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. You seem to know more about what's happening than you, you're leading on, Rantaro. So you're the Kyoko slash Hajime of this game. Alright. For someone who can remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Jeez. Stop that, we'll escape soon. You really think it's gonna be that easy? What do you mean? No. Nothing, just a feeling. You do know! <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but... I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Rantaro's report card has been, up has been updated based on your experience with him. You really do know more than you're letting on, Rantaro. Rantaro Amami. Anyways, I guess this is a good place to stop, honestly. What a start! This game just confused the hell out of me in the opening beginning. Uh, the opening beginning. Fantastic job, Eduardo. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 butch butchering up language. Anyways, let's save. Oh my god, this game This game so far has been really good. It's really pretty. I like the aesthetic much more than Danganronpa 1 and 2, honestly. And, uh, well... So far, it's been a box of chocolates, <laughs> as as a certain great movie character would say. It's been a box of chocolates, and uh, yeah, I I do know I do well do know <laughs> I don't know anything honestly about this game, <laughs> but it does feel like Kokichi is like is gonna be this this game's version of um, of Nagito. I just I just have a feeling, you know, the way he was acting towards Kibo. And Rentaro knows much more than he's leading on to. <laughs> that much is obvious. I really need to read Danganronpa Zero if I want to find out more, I guess. Anyways, guys, that'll be all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you want to be notified of future uploads like this one, hit the little bell. You know what to do. Also, if you want to join my Discord server for absolutely no reason at all, link is in the description below. Guys, until next time. Peace.